Hey everyone, it's Chris again and welcome back to my channel. Today is Valentine's Day and I'm so happy to be spending Valentine's Day with all of you guys. We are your dates for today and no one other than my love is with me today. Your no perfect Valentino. Yeah, the love of my life. Mm. <laughs> Slater. Um, and today we are going to be doing a little couples Q and A, and it is going to be all about love. Now, you guys, what you doing? Chigil lang, go lang. <laughs> now, you guys have asked us a lot of questions on my Instagram stories, and I thought it would be appropriate to answer them all on Valentine's Day, mm. right? And I already showed some questions earlier today. It's on my phone, so if I'm going to be referring to this, that is why. And I'm really excited because a lot of people apparently have love problems pala. Mm. And tapos, tayo yung magbibigay. Tayo yung love coach. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tayo yung love coach. But again, everything here that we're gonna be talking about is our own opinion lang. It's our own experience lang. So if it doesn't work for you, you don't have to heed our advice. Love coach. So before we start, I know I've tried a lot of heartaches. Ikaw, have you ever been heartbroken? Like crazy yung hindi ka Define kumakain. heartbroken. Hindi ko makain ano pa. Yung... Palagi mo siyang iniisip, you keep checking your phone all the time, if nagte-text na ba siya, or hindi ka makatulog sa gabi sa kakaisip. No, I haven't tried. I guess like to a small degree lang when I had this issue in the past that I don't want to get into. Parang ito's a, a very small issue, but mm. yeah, I was sad. Issue, not me. Yeah, it's issue, not me. Parang I felt sad. I felt na parang walang gana. But it wasn't like yung, I need to get drunk with my friends and it lasts for how many weeks. No, it was just like a day of feeling sad. And more like, kasi natamaan yung pride ko more than anything. Guapa and then, ko. Guapa ko. I don't care. The next day, wala na. Without inood, marag. The next day, I felt normal. And then, mm. I, I, then I got so confused like, aren't I supposed to feel bad? So mm. I just pretended to be angry for the next few days. But mm. like, if I'm on being honest with myself, wala. All right, that's good for you. Yeah, but also, ikaw, what, what's your take on that heartbreak? And dami mo na bang napagdaanan na heartbreak? Yes, of course. That's when, when you truly love, you let yourself out there. <laughs> and you have the risk of being heartbroken. Vulnerable. Yeah. So, you always, you never felt heartbreak with me, Mimi. You never truly loved me, ba? Kasi hindi mo naman ako iniwan. Ah, so iniwan ka pala mm. sa mga past lovers mo. Hindi naman. Iniwan ka? I think, yes. Meron din na iniwan. Meron din na ako yung nag-break nag ng heart. Meron ganyan. You know, life is life. Life is life. Uh, love is love. <laughs> Guapo ka. Guapo ako. Sige. Okay. That being said, start na tayo. Okay. We have a question here uh, by Bianca SNS. How to keep the love alive even if you individually grow and find new and different interests? Ah. I think it's easy naman. Kahit tayo, we don't have the same interests all the time. Like for example, this whole gear you're what you're watching the camera and everything is my interest the interest niya is sit down in front of the camera and talk yeah i like talking to you guys like they're like setting up making yeah, sure so everything compliment is... yun, yeah but i feel like that's a misconception na you guys have to be completely on the same page all the time yeah. or you just because you hobbies yeah or even just with you liking the same music does not mean the bagay kayo. Yeah, it's a misconception. I think love is so... There's so many elements to it. It's so deep. There's so many things that consi like consist love. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's... If you're thinking of it from an interest point of view, and it may be surface level pa. Yeah. Because it will change. It will definitely change whether your girlfriend, boyfriend, or your wife and husband. Because, for example, nga, dati ako yung interest ni Chris ngayon si Scott na. <laughs> it will definitely change. And, yeah, you, and your interests change also. So, uh, for example, you guys got together because you met in, let's say, a badminton game. Both of you are super into badminton. Okay, you guys are badminton hobbyists, mm. and then you get married, and then eventually the mom has a baby. So she doesn't like badminton anymore. It doesn't mean that 
the husband, the dad, will not love the wife anymore because she doesn't like badminton anymore. Like things change, your life changes, your interests change, and your love also changes. It grows, it matures. Yeah, that's why you have to be able to realize that you're loving the person for the core character that she or she has. Hindi yung surface level it's fashion sense. It's not because of her sense. music. It's not because of oh. her face. Oh. But it's for who she really is. It's not because of her height. Kasi, well, height naman paminsan, habang tumatanda, mas numiliit pa yung tao, di ba? Um, and that is all for Slater's Time here on my channel. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Okay, next question. Love advice that you would tell Scotty when he's a teenager already. Mm. Bilang ikaw yung dad, feeling ko kayo yung heart to heart about love. Like, ang dami naman, ang dami naman when it comes to love, but I'd, I'd rather him explore and fall in love and get heartbroken until he finds the perfect person for him. Experience because, is the best teacher. Yeah, how would you know that that person is the perfect person if you've only been with one person? Right. Diba? I mean, yeah. some of us get lucky and tama, they find the one on the first try. Right. But for me, I could say, I love you because and dami ko nang nasubukan na ibang relationships and I know what those relationships lack. Okay. Yes, I agree. I feel like a lot of the times in our culture, especially us being Filipino Chinese, mm. uh, more traditional, more parang keep to yourself or parang risk averse ba when it comes to things in life and mm. especially love. And parang I, I remember when I was younger, my parents would say, "Oh, don't do this. You'll get not you'll get heartbroken." But parang no, stay here. Don't do this. Baka this will happen. Baka it's always like that. Like. Mm. Always the worst case scenario. Yeah, stay in your bubble so you don't get hurt. But I feel like sometimes getting hurt actually allows you to learn from that experience and become a better person after, right? Yeah, and parang ako, I've tried na sobrang nasasaktan ako. It hurt in the moment that it is happening, but after a year or two, parang nakikita mo na you're better for it. You've you've seen the light kung bakit hindi siya nag-work. You can work on yourself also because hindi naman kasalanan ng kabila palagi. Yeah. And you also see that, hey, I can actually survive a lot of heartache. So next time when I'm putting myself out there, it, I'm okay. So I think my advice to Scott um, is really try your best. Like try your hand at love. Try to be the guy that you think you want to be in a relationship mm. and just experience it go with the flow like for me i i don't know what will happen in the future but as of now i can already imagine na he'll tell me like mommy i like someone i'm like oh, really yeah. do you yeah. think he'll tell you i think he will i Baka think he will. he'll keep it to himself well if he's a if he's a shy type i won't also like pry it out of him like but mm. even if i know let's say you know some kids they hide their relationships from their parents mm. i'm not going to be the type na Oi, I know ha, your friend told me. Like, even if I know, if I think that he wants to keep it private, I'll just let him keep it private. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think... Like, I just want him to experience it. Yeah, But also, don't be an ha asshole, Scott. <laughs> that, that's your advice for him. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> treat your girlfriend with as much respect that you would treat your mom. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, but I think if we raise him well, that would be yeah. inherently natural. Yeah, true. Hopefully. Next, things you would never do for love. A lot of the nevers would be never do anything that you wouldn't do normally. Right. If it's against your values as a person, that already speaks a lot that your loved one is trying to get you to do something that's against your values. Oh, so, oh like, for example, if I fall in love with a superstar, supermodel, tapos sobrang love ko siya, pero she does drugs. And then sabi niya, oh, sige, Slater, come here. Sige na love. Okay lang yun. It's just for fun. Ganyan. But that's never you. So you already know that there is a conflict between your morals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or even just saying, uh, papakita mo sa girl na, oh, I can afford all these things. I can take you out to fancy dinners. Pero hindi mo pala kaya or hindi mo pala personality to keep on doing that. So nag expect na yung girl na, that's gonna that's be forever. That's who you, you yeah, are, yeah. Who you are. So when it comes to the time where she gets to know you more, unti-unting nawawala yung love because 
it's not her fault. It was your fault because you were um, pretending to be someone. You're yes, not in a way deceiving. Right. Yeah, you weren't being totally genuine. Yeah, completely agree. Completely agree. Is falling out of love true? I think so. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Again, because Kanang like ma- you're ma- always. Ma- ko an sa mata? <laughs> Mga falling? Tabangi ko ninyo, please. Kapuya. Kasi may mga tana. Saan yung pag-aguantas jokes ni Slater? O sa'yo, mga tana sa ko sa akong sal. Yung mga tul ko. Mga falling na lang ka sa akong love. Anyway, I think it's true. You can really fall out of love because as I said earlier, you change, you grow up and you're not always... Sometimes you grow apart. You're not always the same. And sometimes you grow. you're growing at the same time and then biglang nag-iba yung path niyo in life. And that's completely fine. I feel like people are in your life for a reason and it doesn't mean that they're in your life now. They'll always be in your life. Mm. Like, sometimes, the, the point nila sa life mo is just for that second, just for that moment in your life. Yeah. I also feel like society has like a thing with people leaving someone. When, mm-hmm. for example, if tayo tapos hindi pa tayo married and I say, parang I don't feel it anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll take a step back. And parang kasalanan ng lever. Right. Na, oh, ikaw talaga, hindi mo kinip yung promise mo or whatever. But I feel like that's the best thing you can do actually than just stay in the relationship. Yeah, you can stay in the relationship just because naawa ka or nasasayangan ka because you've been there for so long. You're not being true to mm. yourself. You're not being honest with your partner also. And what kind of love are you putting in the relationship when you yourself know your heart's not in it anymore. Kawawa yung other person who deserves 100% of love, right? I think I actually did this to a few of the people that uh, I was dating or even one one or two of my girlfriends. I say it outright. Right. I may seem like an asshole, but I'm gonna tell you outright, I don't love you anymore. Or, But as much as possible, it make makes it her move lambing, on faster. No? But medyo asshole nga siya na move because diretsahan. Yeah. Like, I really, walang excuse. It's not you, it's me, it's me, tapos I need to find myself. Walang ganyan. Diretsahan. I realize Super sakit, it's not but us. Yeah. She won't hang on to the time when you will be able to find yourself. And I remember, love, that you actually gave me that same advice. You remember? Really? Yeah, you don't remember na? I think so. I, I think yeah. I did. You gave me that, that same advice and I felt so bad. Like, I felt like it was... It's not me. I'm very non-confrontational. Yeah, but ganito, but it's it's, uh, it's correct. It's correct. Yeah, because oh oh go go go. <laughs> it's really correct because otherwise, the person on the other end will be thinking na there's chance pa for us. What did I do to make this this way? Like, is oh, it my fault? I can Para, still fix this. The brain will always be thinking of what I did, what I can do yeah. instead of moving on. But if you say it from the onset that wala na, there's no more cho- there's no more chances it's gonna work, I realized yeah. it's really not us. Masakit sa ngayon, but it's faster. You guys can move on faster. Oh, oh. I have been in a relationship where I was in the receiving end of that also. Na parang hindi derechahan yung pagsabi na I don't like you or I like someone else. Yung parang oh, it's because kasi ganito or because kasi you don't see me all the time, you don't have time for me. Eh, ikaw yung heartbroken. You'll, oh, sige, I'll make more time. Yeah, yeah. Pero, and then when you're making time na, iba na naman. Oh, iba na naman. So yeah. it rolls on right. and on and on. But yeah, so, yeah. again, Scott, don't be an asshole. <laughs> yeah, okay, next question. Is love doesn't matter in age? I think she means, um, does, love ma- uh, does, does age, age matter? matter in love? And I think, to me personally, I think it does, um, and I'm very happy that Slater is seven years older than me, because I feel like, guys, it's common sense already. Every, everybody knows that girls mature faster than guys, no. and I really believe that. No, I really, really believe that. So believe I've dated that. someone at my age. I've dated someone at a few years older than me, and then I dated Slater who's a lot older than me. But I really feel that. It helps because he's so mature. Really? And it's not my charming good looks? No, it's your age. <laughs> he's really so mature and I really respect that and I appreciate it because sometimes when you're fighting and both of you are isip bata pa, parang it, the fight just escalates to be like too much 
it, there's just so much drama in the fight. There's just so much emotion and pride. And sometimes you get lost in your fight. You don't know anymore what you're fighting about. You're just mad because of pride, right? But with Slater, parang that that whole thing doesn't happen anymore. He knows already how to talk to me. He knows how to. I don't know, eh? I I disagree. I feel like age may or may not matter depending on the situation. I think you're talking uh, from the example that you're saying is we were mature enough at that point in time. Mm-hmm. So it's just finding the right person to be in the same wavelength as you. Yeah, yes. Kasi pag natin, immature ka pa. Yeah. Like, dumaan naman talaga tayo sa lahat sa immaturity. Yeah. Maybe gusto mo na someone immature then who can ride with you. Actually, tama. Or matured, mature na so that he can lift you up. Yes. Or make you Agree. see the light. Agree. Diba? But also, I know someone who dated a uh, girl siya, and then she dated someone way younger than her because there was that physical attraction, right? But then moving on, like as the relationship progressed, wala, iba talaga, iba talaga ang younger guy for her at that time. Mm. So, tama ka. Like, I feel like age matters. Age matters, but it's not the only thing that matters. And sometimes, it, like, I don't know. It matters sometimes because, for example, I'm let's say for example I'm 35 years old and I'm dating 22 year old na girl. My thinking would be work and family. Yung girl hindi pa ready to settle Party down. Pa. Yeah, so yeah. that may come into. I know. So it really depends. It really depends, right? So our next question is: What will you do when you feel like he doesn't love you anymore? Leave. Move on. Guapaka. Guapaka. In the words of Ellen, guapaka. <laughs> really, guys, there's no point in staying with someone that doesn't love you anymore or doesn't reciprocate the love that you give. Like, have some, I know, self-respect. self-respect. You also need the courage to accept that. You need the courage to tell yourself na, well, life happens. Like, there's it's something you can't control anymore. If you feel like your partner doesn't, share that same love that you share with him you really need to let go because eh, you're just gonna feel sad about it you're never gonna enjoy the relationship you're always gonna be asking more than what he can give it's not fair to you also in the wise words of someone I know is you always think that you're a catch the wise words of someone he knows that's himself you have to give value to yourself and you have to know your value and see yourself as a catch. Marami pang magkakagusto sa'yo. Whenever you you know that for real in your heart, marami talagang magkakagusto sa'yo. And I really don't believe that there's only one person in this whole world for you. Yeah. I, I feel, feel so. like... I think so. You can have so many soulmates. I, I don't believe na isa lang talaga na soulmate. Kasi... What if you never meet that one person? The world is such a big place. Edi wala na, game over na for you, mm. diba? There's so many people that you can find happiness with. So don't think na if you're gonna break up with this person you're with, parang, oh, I'm so gawa, I'm never gonna find anyone. I think it's more of getting used to a certain routine with someone. Yeah, it's hard to leave, man. No? It's anad ba? Anad yeah. or habit. Familiarity. Na, like when I go home, I have someone to talk to on the phone yeah. or. If I have a bad day, meron akong kausap. Yeah, or like if you're close na to the friends or if you're close na to the family, yeah. it's hard to let go. But you have to think also about your life in the future, right? Mm. Like, it's not just about this moment, but the future. Like, let's say you're 20 years old and you live to be 100. That's 80 years of your life pa na magsasacrifice ka, right? Just because you're scared to make that move. But it's very easy for us to say. No, that's... No. Ah, it's very easy for an outsider to say but when you're hurting it's so hard when you're broken hearted kahit so hard. all the best advice in the world kahit sinong presidente pa yung nag-advise sa yo <laughs> hindi mo talaga pakinggan unless you realize it yourself yes and i think it's because the emotion is still there the hurt is still there and you and give it time and then you slowly the clouds will slowly lift and you can see the picture more clearly Yes, and um, wait, there's another question that I read that I think is connected to this one. I lost it. But something along the lines of, sometimes when you've been with someone for so long, it's hard for you to make that decision. Like, kunyari, ikaw yung nag-fall out of love. It's hard for you to make that decision because some th- sometimes there's no big fight. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, Sometimes I, there's no trigger. He didn't cheat on you. Hindi kayo nagaaway. Nothing. Everything's the same. It's just one day you realize or you're thinking to yourself, is this really it? Is this really love? Mm. Right? And it takes a lot of courage and self-examination. And really courage to say, you know what? I feel like there's more out there. And I feel like the moment that you're already having doubts, the moment that that thought enters your head na, na parang, is this it? Can I find someone better? I think that's already a sign. The way I used to think about kung sino ang true love ko na ba to or hindi is if I can picture that person when we're eight years old, magkasama pa ba kami? Mm-hmm. Will we still be happy together? Or will we be just one of those couples na parang being together for the sake of being together? If I can see myself with you on a porch facing the beach na, na seeing your little apos yeah but that's something, something like that. you imagine kasi with a situation that you're you're in like for example if you never fought with your significant other but you f- you feel like you might have fallen out of love with him um you can still imagine it you really still, yeah you can still imagine it because you don't hate him you're just wondering if there's Something more out there, something more bagay sa If you're thinking that there's already someone more bagay sa then yeah. it's already in front of you. The words are already in front of you. The answer is right in front of you. You just have to be courageous enough to listen to that. Mm. Mm. Okay, is it normal to feel dullness in a long term relationship? It depends kasi. Like, it's never the same as the first year you've been together in a sobrang intense yung emotion i think it's more of a deeper respect with i think with what we have especially like parang hindi na tayo rar <laughs> <laughs> like parang ah, i have to be with you yeah. for am phone calls yeah, yeah. But, oh my god i remember it was so different from the time when slater was still courting me to the time when we were first dating the first few months to now when we have a baby now or even to the time now we first got married love constantly adjusts and adapts and you have to let it grow with you right mm. you can't always cling to, to that moment in the past now yes. huh how come he's not as i know he's not always looking for me anymore like before you have to allow your relationship to grow with you otherwise your relationship will always be stuck in that phase and you'll never experience all the different kinds of love. Yeah. But that's one type of dullness that might be misconstrued with dullness. Meron naman talagang totoong dullness. Like what? Na sobrang tagal na ninyo magkasama. Like you're just used to someone and he's just there. I'm just here. Yeah. Pero wala na talaga akong yeah. uh, investment in her or him. Or Parang naging sobrang familiar na Stale na, na siya. Stale na siya. Yun. Na so ka that na. is exactly what you were talking about yeah, the yeah. last question yeah. yeah if it's so hard is it worth it oh my gosh oh my gosh personally think, no yeah I think if it's hard why are you there pa like it shouldn't be hard it should be easy Then that's what I learned when being with Slater without to be honest it was so easy I didn't understand like how easy it could be like oh my god this guy thinks exactly like me. So every time something happens and I say something, I don't have to explain myself. It's such a relief. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm. have to explain why I'm thinking this way, why I said this. Because he would say the same thing. It's so easy. And I've talked to a lot of couples also before we got married. Pa. Oh, I'm so excited for you to get married. And at the time, I was having cold feet. Not really cold mm. feet because of you, but just cold feet at the thought of being married and going to the next step. And I remember a lot of my married couples already said na, I always said na, you know what, Chris? It's really not hard. They keep saying that every day is a decision to stay in love. But parang every day is so easy if you marry the right person. If you marry Slater. (laughs) But yeah, I, I really feel like if you guys are compatible, it's easy and it shouldn't be hard. It's about compatibility. If if it's hard and you're still in the legal phase, if you're still so far yeah. from being Wag married, na. wag na. Because when you get married, that's when all the responsibility comes in. When you have a kid, you have less time with each other and you, you're going to need it to be easy at the time, right? My opinion is that if you, it's hard in the earliest stages. Which is supposed to be only, the easiest stage. Yeah, it's only gonna get harder. Yeah. Imagine, kasi pag early stage sa relationship, hindi kayo magkasama 24-7 eh. Yeah. 
Hindi kayo nagbi-build ng house together, which is stress. You don't have any responsibilities together. You Uh-oh. just spend Hindi time together, that's it. Uh-oh. For fun. Hindi kayo in the same room together all the time. Yung mga hygienic habits niya versus right. yours. You don't need to think about expenses. You don't need to Uh-oh. think about Money, raising a human. Problems. Managing a household. Wala. Imagine that the things that you are fighting about right now and add in more challenges. Like add in times 100 stress level. Uh-huh. Is that the partner you want to deal with? you want to be with uh-huh. when you're faced with life's difficult moments. And when life gives you difficult moments, if you're with the right partner, it actually makes those moments easier. Aww. Yeah. Okay, how can you tell if you're in love with someone or if you're just in love with the idea of love? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think it's hard to tell when you are in that state of mind mm-hmm. when you're emotionally passionate, passionate yeah. so and dami kong mga moments where I look back like oh I really was just in that relationship because I was lonely right. not because of anything else not because of that specific person oh uh, yeah. so parang I really wanted that relationship to work because I wanted to prove a point that I can have a long term relationship right, parang right, ganyan right. so but when you're in that situation, I feel like it's really, really hard. hard but the people around you that love you would most likely notice. That's a very good insight. That's, I know, again, someone in my life na parang she was just really with that guy because she wanted to prove a point to herself. Mm. Na, oh, I can be with this type of person. And then it was so obvious to all of her friends, to all of her family na hindi sila bagay. But parang, why is she so blinded, no? Like, when you look at her from afar, why is she so blinded? And she wouldn't listen to anyone, her friends, her family, wala. But when they finally broke up and we told her, dun yun na realize lahat, like, yeah, you know, I was, I just wasn't being honest with myself because I was trying to prove something to myself. Mm. And I really believe na the people around you, you should really listen to them. If everyone, your friends and your family, they only are looking for the best for you. And if everyone collectively says, don't go with that person, you have to reevaluate also your relationship. Because there's may reason, there's may truth kung bakit. Sometimes because you're so blinded by love that you don't see it. But the people around you who love you, they're out looking out for you. So listen to them. Okay, next question. How did Slater court you? How did he court me, love? I don't know. You How don't did know? I court you? You forgot na. That's the problem with dating someone older than you. They always forget. <laughs> It was fairly simple lang one siguro. No, I didn't do any big romantic gestures. Again, because that's not me. For me. But you... I surprise you from time to time because I know you like surprises. Lagi ka nagparamdam. I remember when we were you were you were still courting me. We would stay up all night on the phone, mm. which is a big deal because you are a sleepy person. <laughs> you mm. love your sleep, and it's a big deal when you don't sleep. And mm. he didn't sleep at all, right? Like every night. Bilar. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was very simple, not Very super... normal, manliligaw type. Yeah. Nothing, like, no showering of gifts or... No going home to a room full of flowers. Yeah, you never did that. Mm. You should do that. <laughs> Budget. <laughs> do you ever get jealous when Slater has a girl best friend or vice versa? Uh, no, because you... Don't have a girl best friend. Mo lang. But I know that it can be difficult. It can be difficult. Especially, well, not now because we're married and like I, I know you so well and I trust you. But I feel like when you're, let's say you were still courting me and then you had a girl best friend and like you mag usap, like you mag kasama, mahirap yun. Mahirap mm. yun. I, I would say so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be with a guy if he has a girl best friend, but good for you if kaya mo, very mature. I think it depends. I think you can see if there's something there or mm, not. If my flirting, flirting, or wala. Or like, you have a lot of guy friends that you have known for so long, like sila Chase. Yeah. Alam ko namang, there's really there's no nothing way. that's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Or like brothers. Yeah. But if, like, for example, nahikita mo na may something or my spark or may, I know, that's when it can be. Mm. 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 Okay, next question. Is it normal to get irritated by the smallest flaw of your partner? 
um, for me, if na irritate ka na sa mga small flaws, wag na girl. <laughs> Kasi if you're married and then nagka COVID, nagka pandemic, lagi kayo magkasama. Paano na yung life mo, de ba? Lagi ka na lang, <laughs> lagi ka na lang na irritate. Itong video na to is love advice. Wag na girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next. Is it wise to pick a man who loves you more than you love him? Would you pick a girl who loved you more than you love her? No. I, th- I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Why? I think it's even. Parang weird kasi na parang pag sobrang into y- me naman yung girl tapos ako hindi. If I gave you flowers, like crazy gesture of love, but you're not really into me, ni parang... Mm. Uh, thanks, but I if, guess. Yeah, if sobrang crush mo ko or sobrang love mo ko and oh I have gosh, this one rose. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. So the dynamic changes because someone loves the other person less. I'd rather get one rose from you love than 10,000 roses from someone else. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. You rose to the occasion, huh? <laughs> Guys, help me. Okay. How do you say to your boyfriend that you're pissed at him without really saying it? Mm. For me, why don't you re- why don't you want to say it? Like it's so important to be honest. No, what Straight she's to the point. trying to say is that how do you say it without probably um, offending or how to say it ah, properly? You just have to like put the feelings of the person in mind. Like for example, na hurt ka. Like the way I do it is I tell Slater either in a very logical, no emotions way. Like, love, can we talk? You know what you did kanina? Parang it hurt my feelings. So can you not do it again? That or sometimes I'm my my personality is like, mm, why did you do that? Diba? I'm like that. Why did you? I'm lambing. But I don't like. Ikaw talaga, you hurt my feelings. I hate you. Mama. <laughs> Napansin ko sa mga away natin, which is, thank goodness, rare. But it's usually, we just keep quiet. If, if for example, you say something that's offensive or you did something that I wasn't super into, hindi natin bring up right there and then, if napansin mo. Right. It's always like, okay, I'll keep quiet, make sure After we're a while, alone yeah. and calm and... Like, I can approach it in a logical way. Sometimes I even think about it, think about telling you, and then I forget about it. Yeah. So, yeah. if that happens, alam kong it really didn't matter right. in the grand scheme of things. Right. But if it gnaws at me, so I'll let you know. Yeah. But it's very much, as much as possible, remove the emotion, or even better. Ako kasi, parang, love, why did you do that to me? It's <laughs> weird if it's coming from me. Okay. So, I just, uh, well, in interview tayo ni Bianca and yung FBI method. It's really like feelings, behavior, impact. It's a management tool, pero kaya siyang to express your emotions properly. You made me angry, feelings, because of. I felt angry yeah. because. Uh, I felt angry because of. You did not feed me. Mm-hmm. Sabihin na natin. So that's the behavior. Okay. Para nagiging sobrang lesson na to. Then I is for the impact. So you made me angry because you didn't feed me. And in the future, mas mag aaway tayo when. I think that's very confrontational the way you approach the FBI technique. I think you shouldn't start with you made me angry because that's already no, accusatory. But, no, but, but I, it's the tone that I'm uh, think, how I'm explaining let me, it. Let me try. Now. I but, would say like. Take Love, it. I felt angry. It's me that felt angry. Yeah. Not you made me angry, ha? Huh? Like, uh, okay, good. I felt angry because you weren't able to make food for me earlier. Yeah. I got hungry. That's the impact. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next time, make me na lang food. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's proper. But do I say it like that? You, to no, you? I'm just saying now when you're explaining it. All but right. I don't think, yeah, dapat it shouldn't be accusatory. Like, you, kasi, you, 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 you. Yeah, it's always be, about yung. Like, you know, Sa- I felt sayo. sad. Why kaya? Is this what you meant? Mm. Did you mean it this way? Or baka I interpreted it wrong lang? I think the the tone of it should be you asking for help. Yeah. To, yeah. F- to solve that problem. Yeah. And it's not just... I'm, I don't even, I'm not even faking it when I... Yeah. I'm genuinely... It's a I just want to solve the problem. Yeah. Like, we're together solving the problem. Not like 
Yeah. I want to win this fight, and yeah. you're the loser. Yeah, it's not a gen, uh, uh, like a technique or a, a no. It's like more of a tool that you use to help you express your feelings. But everything you're saying is true and genuine. Yeah, this is ninety percent of the questions that I got. Okay. How do you know if he is the one? Now we've answered this like one million times already, but apparently they still want to know, guys. So yeah, your opinion first. Um, how do I know if he's the one? I guess you can feel it. Like with Slater, I never thought that he was gonna propose na. Like, I, I thought that he had so many plans for himself pa. And we were just together two years pa at the time. Mm. So I didn't know that, that was we were gonna enter the next stage so fast. Um, but I always felt like it was a possibility and it could happen. And if he would ask me, I would be okay with it because it was just so easy. Like when we would travel together, we, we wouldn't fight. Even in the everyday things, like when we were confronted with different situations like family or work or friends, parang, wow, we finish each other's sentences. We are just always on the same wavelength. Our values are so in sync. The way we in sync, treat value. Different, <laughs> the way we treat different things like religion, money, like everything's the same. So there was just no conflict. That was so easy. How about you? Yeah. Um it's really hard to tell also because Sometimes because you are in that moment, you are full of love, emotions. Parang anyone could be the one. Like I've thought yeah. about my past relationships, and I've always half siguro I would say, oh, this is the one. Really? This is the one. Yeah, I've like ilan ba girlfriend ko six. I think you said I'm the six. Yeah, you're the six. Yeah. So half of it siguro like. Parang alam ko na, oh, this would last. Ah, and so, half of it is, uh, yeah, this is the one. Like, ito talaga. And that's when you sobrang hurt ka kasi, right, right. ano, uh, you feel like siya na talaga. But I, I felt that before, like parang, ito na talaga. When the relationship was just starting and then mm. after a while, then parang, uh, maybe not. Like, y- you kind of, grow also with the relationship i mean i sometimes because you're so blinded by love at the start and everything is syempre, so new at the start mm. parang, hey i could live with this this is nice then eventually parang nakikita mo na yung differences nyo, values nyo. Ako kasi i have a, i'm very close to my kabarkada and they would really tell me when like, they feel like this is the, the right person or not I would share stories then because so, so like sometimes when you say I feel like this is the one and they would say no not yet like yeah that. or like they would say na you're different when you're with her mm. parang ganyan you're not being you so parang you kind of read between the lines they will never tell you up front that hey uh, parang she's not the one right. <laughs> or maybe so she short, would if she's like an asshole in short listen to the people around you I think so especially when you're Sobrang into that relationship. I think listening to the people around you because love can make you blind. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, and last deaf. question. Deaf. Yeah, you won't listen to anyone. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, last question. Physical attraction or non-physical connection? I think both. Dapat both. You need both, yeah. 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 Because if you're not physically attracted to each other, how will you make babies? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, di ba? Yeah. It's true. Oh. Like, or if if non-physical lang, uh, if physical lang, then palagi kayo ng babies. <laughs> Ang dami niyong babies, di ba? Wala kayong mapag-usapan, babies na lang. Mm. But I remember also someone really close to me, uh, parang, she was, she was together, you know, with, the, with a person, and then she didn't really like the person. Parang mm. walang physical, non-physical connection lang. Walang physical attraction. Tapos, she was having a problem na, na parang, oh no, is he gonna kiss me tonight? Like, I really like talking to him, but, oh no, is he gonna kiss me tonight? What am I gonna do? Like, ganon. Kung ganyan, so, best friend mo na yun. Hindi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kailangan both, I would say. Hmm. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for listening to our little love advice, our little love column. Mm. <laughs> we enjoyed super filming this for you guys. Again, happy, happy Valentine's Day. Um, and what would you want to say to our viewers right now? I just say in the world of hate, all you need is love. All you need is love. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.